This is Peter, a sun culture success story and a productive farmer. This is Peter's close neighbour and good friend Wanjiru. To get water, Wanjiru has to pull up to 15 buckets of water a day from her well. This is not productive. Wanjiru has heard how Peter's sun culture solar powered rainmaker system does all the hard work for him and how it's changed his life. It provides him with water to wash and clean his family, provide water for his animals and grow vegetables on his farm, which has enabled him to turn his farm into a business. Peter meets Wanjiru at a Sun Culture demo day and tells her to speak to the Sun Culture team. She's impressed and this is the moment Wanjiru will take her first step onto the Sun Culture productivity ladder. Sun Culture is the leading pioneer in solar irrigation solutions for smallholder farmers across Africa. Their mission is to help rural households increase their income by using productive assets powered by solar energy, a journey which starts with a water pump. To get to the point where a customer has an eyes light up moment for your product or your solution takes more than just selling something. Everything that we do is to enable households to increase their productivity. A lot of folks may have heard of the energy ladder, but we take it to a different dimension to talk about the productivity ladder. How do we get someone to become more productive over time? And something that we firmly believe in is that what we do or the products that we sell are not sort of a silver bullet and that selling one product or one combination of products and services isn't good enough. Because when you look at the most underserved people in the world, they have so much room to grow. For Sun Culture, the first key step in getting rural households onto the productivity ladder is moving water. Water is the foundation of farming, enabling farmers to increase yields, in turn generating income to reinvest within their farming business and who then continue to climb the productivity ladder. kwa hakika eh, sun culture tumebandisha maisha ya wakulima wengi na wale tumewekea zaidi ukienda baada ya miezi tatu utakuta kwake kumebandika amepanda mboga amepanda uh, mahindi amepanda cabbages unaona mapato yake imeanza mara moja kubandika kwa sababu sasa maji imekuwa kwa manufaa na kafaida katika maisha yake in Africa today, only 6% of cultivated arable land is irrigated due to lack of access to affordable irrigation solutions. For example, Sun Culture's Rainmaker Pump, a smart, reliable plug-and-play low-cost solar water pump, enables smallholder farming households to pump water from as deep as 100 meters. Research and customer feedback show that Sun Culture and the Rainmaker can increase yields by up to 300%. Sun Culture's research and development team are based in Nanyuki. From this base, Sun Culture service thousands of customers all benefiting from its range of solar irrigation products. Up here in Nanyuki, the most important thing that we do is get as close as possible to the customer. So we build a product, we don't build it from a laboratory, we build it on a farm. The R&D team design and test prototypes. Prototypes are tested with customers to fine-tune demands and requirements and then Sun Culture can make the iterations and design fresh updates for their products with manufacturers. Solar pump and irrigation products are delivered to a local courier for collection and then installed directly at the farm by trained engineers. Customers can even log into agriculture chat groups offering sound advice and information. When it comes specifically to the value that Sun Culture creates, it's all about getting information from the farmer, getting their insights. But figuring out how to choose the minuscule percentage of technology that really is going to make sense for our customer and adapting that technology so that it increases productivity and it's affordable um, really depends on, on getting that feedback from the customer as quickly as possible. Our customers trust us to be able to deliver a really solid product and service. 
And for us from the R&D department, we have to make sure that we live up to that expectation. The frontline research and development base is backed up by the Nairobi hub. From here is where the Complete Sun Culture customer care solution package is operated. A dedicated finance team implements such initiatives as the Pay As You Grow scheme, and an after sales and support team ensure that every product performs as it should. Sun Culture have been smart with their external partnerships. Agrofin Accelerate is a Mercy Corp project funded by the Mastercard Foundation and has advised Sun Culture with distribution streams, revenue channels, and also with their overall knowledge of creating lasting legacy. So we started a partnership about a year ago with Sun Culture uh, to help them define the market segment for this new product. This project, Agrofin Accelerate, is a market accelerator program, meaning we work with private sector partners, but try to create a public good, a social outcome as a result of that work. Sun Culture is, I think, at the cutting edge of technology. The area of clean energy is a contemporary issue which we must all consciously and seriously think about and address. As a result, there's a lot of value in this new product entering the market and it really drives the innovation landscape, as it were, uh, for smallholder farming uh, in Kenya and in the region as a whole. Dahlberg has been focused on uh, off-grid energy and also on agricultural development uh, for the past two decades. What impresses me most about Sun Culture, firstly, is the scale of their ambition. They have a product which is really needed and they really want to scale it up uh, within Kenya but across the continent. The future with uh, Sun Culture um, is completely open. Our model typically is a short uh, engagement model where we'll do a very concentrated piece of work with the partner. Um, and then we go back to that partner and say, well, what's next? What else can we do to help? From a technology side, it's all about data. We're entering a stage in our growth where we're able to leverage Internet of Things, IoT technology, big data, machine learning, sensors, um, to be able to provide farmers with actionable intelligence. And I think that's really the future of where this whole sector is going. We see a world where our customers master and control their lives, where they have ownership and agency for what they do, when they do it, and how they do it. That they have access to resources like water and light and heat at the touch of a button. And we see ourselves contributing in a very meaningful way. Sun Culture wants to add more customers like Wanjiru onto their productivity ladder. Continuing support and partnership from Agrofin Accelerate and Dahlberg whilst opening up new networks for future distribution will continue Sun Culture's journey to reach millions of customers across Africa.